Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Amal Mahalangam Engineering College, Kovil Vanni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture in Solution and Discussion on UPSC Engineering Service Exam Questions in Mechanical Engineering. This is lecture number 40. The topic is Laminar Flow. So, in the fluid mechanics, we take few questions from the laminar flow. The first question from 2014 question paper, for laminar flow through a round pipe, the shear stress, there are four options. The shear stress remains constant over the cross section. The shear stress varies linearly with the radial distance. The shear stress must be zero at all points. The shear stress varies parabolically with radial distance. So, this is the flow through pipe, the velocity profile and the shear stress profile for the fully developed flow in a circular pipe. And the velocity profile is parabolic and the shear stress is linear. So, for laminar flow, the shear stress varies linearly with the radial distance. At the center, the shear stress is 0 and the shear stress is maximum on the wall, wall of the pipeline. The next question from 2014 question paper, consider flow of oil and water through a channel, the boundary condition at the interface. So, this is the oil and the water, they are flowing together. The center plane or the boundary surface on the interface. There are four options, velocity and the shear stress are continuous, shear stress is continuous and the velocity is discontinuous, shear stress is zero and velocity is continuous, shear stress is zero. The correct option is shear stress is continuous and velocity is discontinuous. That is the condition on the interface of the two fluids. The next question from 2014 question paper, which of the following statement is not correct? So, read the statement correctly, not correct in the context of laminar flow through a pipeline. There are four options, shear stress is zero at the center and varies linearly with the pipe radius. This is correct. Head loss is proportional to the square of the average flow velocity. Friction factor varies inversely with the Reynolds number. This is also correct. No dispersion of dye injected into the flow stream. So, the dye will disperse. So, the correct option is head loss is proportional to the square of the average flow velocity. That is the wrong statement. Other statements are correct. Next question again from 2014 question paper. Laminar flow between closed, closed spaced parallel plates is governed by the consideration of which one of the following pair of forces? Option A, pressure force and the inertia force. Option B, gravity and the inertial force. Option C, viscous and the inertial force. And option D, pressure and the viscous force. So, for laminar flow, closely spaced parallel plates, the forces are considered is pressure force and the viscous force. Next question from 2015 question paper, in laminar flow through a circular pipe, the discharge varies. There are four options again, linearly with the fluid density, inversely with the pressure drop, directly as a square of the pipe radius, inversely with the fluid viscosity. So, discharge equal to minus pi by 8 mu dou p by dou x into r to the power 4. So, we will find out q is proportional to minus of dou p by dou x. So, q is directly proportional to the decrease in pressure gradient. So, if you look at here, it is inversely proportional to pressure drop. That is wrong. So, this statement is not correct. Density, discharge is proportional to 1 by mu. That is proportional to the inversely with the fluid viscosity. This is true. And uh, discharge is directly proportional to r to the power 4 as per the equation, but it is here given here pressure drop directly square of the pipe radius. So, that is the, the correct statement is inversely with the fluid viscosity. So, this is the middle portion q is proportional to 1 by mu. That is the only correct statement. Other two, two statements are not correct. The next, next question from 2015 question paper, air is flowing over a flat plate with a free stream velocity of 24 meters per second and its kinematic viscosity is 72 in 10 power minus 6 meter square per second. If at a particular point, the Reynolds number is 30,000, its location from the leading edge. We have four options here. We calculate the location from the leading edge, L equal to Reynolds number into the kinematic viscosity divided by the velocity. Reynolds number is 30,000, kinematic viscosity is 72 in 10 power minus 6 and uh, U equal to velocity equal to 24 meters per second, calculating 0 0.09 meter. So, the answer is 0 0.09 meter, option D. The next question from 2016 question paper, 
Consider fully developed laminar flow in a circular, circular pipe of fixed length. There are four statements given. The friction factor is inversely proportional to the Reynolds number. The pressure drop of the pipe is proportional to the average velocity of the flow in the pipe. The friction factor is higher for rough pipe as compared to the smooth pipe. The pressure drop in the pipe is proportional to the square of the average of flow, flow average of flow in the pipe. Which of the above combination of statements are correct? 1 and 2, 1 and 4, 3 and 4, 2 and 3, 1 and 2. The answer is 1 and 2. Statement 1 and 2, they are correct. Other statements are not correct. We will see how. Reynolds friction factor is F is 1 by Reynolds number. So, it is friction factor is higher for rough pipe and cover, so, uh, means compared, uh, friction factor is inversely proportional to Reynolds number. So, this statement is correct. Pressure drop for laminar flow P1 minus P2 equal to 32 mu u to the u bar average velocity L divided by d square. So, it is pressure drop is pipe is proportional to the average velocity. So, average velocity is u bar is the average velocity. For laminar flow, friction factor is not considered. So, other two statements are not correct. The next question again from 2016 question paper. The oil with a specific gravity of 0.8. Dynamic viscosity 0 0.008 Newton second per meter square flows through a smooth pipe of 100 millimeter diameter and with an analysis number 2100. The average velocity in the pipe is, we have four options here. We will calculate the average velocity. Reynolds number equal to rho u d divided by mu. So, 2100 equal to rho density equal to 800. Specific gravity is 0 0.8. Density equal to 800 into u into 0 0.1. 100 millimeter diameter 0.1 divided by 0 0.008, calculating u equal to 0 0.21 meters per second. The option A is the correct answer. The next question from 2017 question paper, consider the following statements. At the row Reynolds number of any flow, viscous force dominates over the inertial force. Second, the transition from laminar to turbulent flow occurs over a range of Reynolds number depending on the surface presented to the flow. Which of the above statement is correct? So, both the statements are correct. At rho Reynolds number, viscous force are dominating than the initial force. So, the transition flow from laminar to turbulent depending on the surface, surface of the pipe as of surface of the flow. The next question from 2017 question paper, the center line velocity in a pipe flow is 2 meters per second. What is the average flow velocity in the pipe if the Reynolds number is 800? So, we have four options here. We calculate the velocity. So, u max by u average equal to 2. So, central line velocity is the maximum velocity, 2 meters per second. u max by u average equal to 2. So, u average equal to u max by 2. So, u max equal to 2 by 2 equal to 1 meters per second. The answer is option C, 1 meters per second. So, we stop here. So, these are all the books I have published in mechanical engineering subject. And I upload the video lectures of all the subjects in the YouTube channel. You subscribe the channel, use the videos for your better learning. So, thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. You can contact me for any clarification on the subject. We will meet again in another video lecture in the subject fluid, fluid mechanics and machines. Until then, bye.